covering free code camp, JavaScript algorithms, and data structures, and we are in basic JavaScript on challenge 73 of 113. And today, we are going to use logical order in if-else statements. Okay, so order is important in if-else statements, or else-if statements. Uh, function, the function is executed from top to bottom, so we want to be careful of which statements come first. Take these two functions for example. Here's the first. So we have a function, it takes in a parameter, or an argument, we're calling x, so we're saying if x is less than 1, return less than 1, else if x is less than 2, return less than 2, else return greater than or equal to 2. Okay. The second just adjusts or just switches the order of the statements. So we have another function takes in the same argument x. We say if x is less than 2, return less than 2. Else if x is less than 1, return less than 1. Else return greater than or equal to 2. These two functions look nearly identical. However, if we pass a number to both, we get different outputs. So the first one will return the string less than 1, and the second one will return the string less than 2 because that is the first check that checks. And if we give it 0, that's what they passed in here. They passed in 0 for x. Uh, the first one returns less than 2 because it hit this statement first, which made it execute and return less than 2, when really we wanted to check if it was less than 1 first. Okay? So that is important to note. We want to change the order of logic in the function so that it will return the correct statements in all cases. Okay, so when we're doing checks like these, this is basically what this is trying to show you is when you're doing checks like these and you want it to be the most precise response, you have to be careful with what order you place your checks. Because if you do it in the wrong order, you're not going to get the most precise response. It can be these conditional checks can it can meet multiple conditions, so we want to be careful of what order we place them in, so it always hits the first condition we would want to return if it is true in multiple cases first. Okay, so order my logic. This function takes in a value, so we're saying if value is less than ten, return less than ten. Else if value is less than five, return less than five. Otherwise, we're returning greater than or equal to ten. Okay. So it wants us to change this logic, change the order of the logic. So we probably want to switch these two because we want to see if the value is less than 5 first, then we can return less than 5 uh, because it could be less than 10, but it also could be less than 5. And we want to be the most precise with our responses, with our outputs here. So uh, all we're going to do here is I'm going to take this entire statement, this entire if check, I'm going to cut it, I'm going to paste it here, and then take out one of these else's. So now we're checking if the value is less than 5 first. If that's true, it'll return less than 5. If it's not, it'll check if it's less than 10. If it is not, it'll check, or it'll simply return greater than or equal to 10. Uh, and then this is a second if statement in this uh, function here, we're having multiple conditional checks, so we can simply move this up and say else if. We don't have to have this uh, syntax laid out, we can actually put that down there, same thing you put this down here, but generally I think it makes the most sense and is the easiest to read when you have them nested like this one after the other, so you can see which check it goes through first, and then goes through second, and then goes through last. Alright, so that's all we should have to do for this one. And yeah, hope to see you guys in the next video.